The home inspector did note some sort of minor issues. Did he mention anything about how many layers of shingles are up there? No mention of anything on the, about the roof. That roof's got to be pulled apart. How do you feel? Uh, terrified. He mentioned that we'd probably want to replace the uh, overhang here. Replace it? You mean remove it? I think it's a lot more than just replacing the door. Keith and Caitlin, first time homeowners, doing the right thing. Call in a home inspector. They don't know what they're looking for. They want to buy the right house. They want the right advice. Question is, did they get the right advice? It's obvious the house is old. You can see by looking at it. The homeowners thought the house was good. Something's wrong with this house. It was missed. It's not in the report. And I've got to come in. I'm going to make it right. We bought this house because when we came in for the first time, uh, Kaylin sort of fell in love with the with the main floor. What really struck me was the nice finishes, the dark hardwood floors, and the beautiful kitchen. I'm more of an analytical personality, so I tried to refrain from the sort of love at first sight type thing. One of the things we like to do is uh, cook together. One of the great things about the neighborhood we moved into is it allows us to really spend time together doing uh, the sports that we love, playing tennis, uh, playing golf together. During the home inspection, the, the home inspector did note some sort of minor issues. He noted that there was some issues with some of the flashing and around the chimney, but it was a really minor issue. Once we got the okay from the inspector that there was nothing major wrong with the house, we were ecstatic. This whole experience was surrounding our wedding and our coming back from our honeymoon. This is our, our first place together. It was move-in day. Everything was falling into place. Couldn't be happier. We had our satellite installer come out the next day and told me that he wasn't able to mount the dish on our roof because the sheeting on the roof is completely rotted. I thought that the inspector's job was to point out all of the major issues. I felt that he missed a pretty big issue with the roof. Being our first time buying a house, I maybe let my emotions take over a little bit and let my guard down a tiny bit. The problems that we've encountered have definitely added a little more stress, knowing that it's expensive to replace a roof. After spending all of that money on our wedding and our honeymoon and, and the down payment on the home, uh, it really didn't leave a lot of extra money for things like a roof repair. <laughs> you must be Keith. I am. I'm nice. Mike. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet Caitlin. You, Hi. Pleasure to meet you. Well, come on outside. It's a nice day. It's spring. I got my boots on. The problems are outside, obviously. So we have uh, a few issues, do we? We do, yeah. We moved in and found out there were a couple issues with the roof. We had a satellite installation that sort of went a little sour. I heard it. he could not attach it. Yeah, he couldn't get it into the, the sheeting, I guess. The home inspector, did he mention anything about how many layers of shingles are up there? Not that I recall, actually, at I all. I didn't the, read it in the, the report. Uh, the inspector just went on the roof, came down, said there were no major issues, and uh, sort of went about his way. That I read, no major issues. Let's take a walk around the side of the house. What I'd like to do first is just a visual with you guys and then step into the real stuff because I'm here to help fix it and make it right. So first is the visual with you guys and uh, trying to determine a few issues that have been missed and see what I have to do later to take things apart. But you can see right there on your front porch, you can see how rotten wood is. It's visual, it's right in front of me. I'd say there's at least three layers of shingles on that. That was not noted. Okay, let's take a walk around the back, please. Sure. Now, this is an addition on the back, is it? Yeah, yeah, sort of a... I did not read that in the report. Siding is not a good job, whoever did it. Verbally, I want to hear what he said. You know, you watch it through the house. What did he say about the outside? He said that on the roof, there was a little bit of a, an issue with the flashing. OK. I knew there were some things that were going to have to be done, but uh, I, I was for sure confident that we could absorb those costs. Originally, he was supposed to be here for two, two and a half hours, I was told. Um, when we got here, my real estate agent told us that uh, the previous owners requested that we only spend about an hour, an hour, 15 minutes, because they'd be entertaining. So it took about an hour and 15 minutes. Yeah, the, the flag should have gone Make up Make it at quick, that point. right, yeah. and get yeah. up. Yeah. Uh, bad move. So you were present. You were with them the whole time? Keith was. I wasn't uh, able to get the time off work. OK. Well, all right. Um, I, I did read in the paperwork that there's no access to the attic. Yeah, no attic access. OK, you know what, instead of guessing, it looks like I'll be getting on my ladder for sure. We have a very, very low pitch. 
It's a nice product. It's not the finished product. This is the underlayment, and it uh, really needs the granulated layer, much like the shingles over there. That's not in the report. The inspector should have caught that. But what don't I see? Vent. During the inspection, everything that was caught was really downplayed in a way that was like, ah, you know, there's, there's this issue, but that's, you know, a really quick fix. He said, now that I think about it, um, checked out the roof by walking on the roof, but the slope was too high, so he couldn't walk on the roof. They dropped in this template about the slope of the roof being too steep and limiting the inspection, but when I got here, he was walking around on the roof, all over the roof. Hmm. So. And there's no problems. Yeah. <laughs> Scares the hell out of me. This is not the greatest sign. This was cut into what appears to be cinder block, a poured concrete corner. Don't ask me why it's a poured concrete and cinder block here. What do I do with it? How do I pull all this out? Do I go get permits and make a proper door to the basement? Do I convince them to close it in? You can see right there on your front porch, you can see how rotten the wood is. It's visual. It's right in front of me. We're excited about understanding the full scope of the problems, but at the same time, fearful of what might be found out. He mentioned that we'd probably want to replace the uh, overhang here. On the, replace on the it? You mean remove it? Sorry. The slope is wrong. There's no doubt about that. What you don't want to do is make that water come into the house. The problem is, is the way this is sloped on each side to set up for the stairs, it just runs the water right down. I mean, it's going to leak definitely from this point coming in, get in behind the siding, in behind the wood. He noted to replace the door. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, jeez, OK. Uh, I'll look further into this. Hmm. Do you hit your head in here? I do. You, you should, yeah, yeah. I do. Is this ever weird how low this is? Yeah, absolutely. We want to watch the duct work in here, too. Yeah. Somebody has removed the blocks to this area here, which pulls out the structure above. It's the first thing I notice is that floor joist is cut. Because we would have had bricks here, so why open that up? Did you do this barricade? In January, we were losing a lot of heat down here. And we can see the gasket sticking in there just to help block it off. Was that you? It was us, yeah. We, we wanted to fill the gaps in. The other day, after a big storm, we had a little bit of flooding down here in the basement as well, through the door. There's, there's the signs in the water yeah. right there. So just right here. Yeah. Do you want to keep this door? I'm not particularly. Yeah, that's definite. But I think it's a lot more than just replacing the door. Did you stuff paper in here? No, I didn't. A lot of this plumbing has been done wrong. This is a vertical D. They put it in a horizontal position. It does not work this way. It is incorrect. The water will come down the drain and hit the bottom of this T, where it should be a Y to direct it down. If they've done it here, where else did they do it? Is it behind drywall anywhere? Is it attached to anything anywhere? Is it, is it under the floor there? And then I'm pretty damn sure that there's no vent. Now, in the report, it said, and it's the first time I've ever read it in any home inspection report, that he recommends to have your drain scoped. Uh, for example, if you had uh, tree roots going into yeah. the weeping tunnel around the house. Did he talk about this? He did, he did mention that during the home inspection. Did, have you had that done? We haven't had that done. Why? Because uh, I have to back him on this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it's just something that we didn't do. Right you have now. a clean out right here. Yeah. Okay, that's an old clean out. I can tell by looking at it, it hasn't been opened in umpteen years. We're hopeful that at the end of this experience, we'll be able to sort of get back on track with what we originally imagined with this home. So we've been renovated. And this is really ultimately what sold us on the house. The finishes on the main floor here. We absolutely love the kitchen. Any issues with the sink, the plumbing? Any issues at all in the kitchen? Nothing. No, uh, nothing. Well, we your drain's wrong. And that's not noted in the report. This is a vertical, not horizontal. And the two lines tie into each other. This one just fights for this one. But it looks good. You're buying by illusion. Now that I've just walked through, I haven't even done anything yet. How do you feel? Uh, terrified. <laughs> terrified of what you're going to find. So let's just smile a bit. Just like, I have to. I'm going to go get my tools. And uh, I'll see what I can do. Okay. Thank you so much. Mike. I'll let you know, OK? Meeting Mike was, was fantastic. He was thorough. He took a lot less time than the home inspector did, but he's also scared the crap out of me now. We're told we have a roof problem and basement entrance issue. 
I walk through the house. I damn near fall over. Everyone's missed this, including the home inspector, structural, electrical, HVAC. Never mind these other little things. Improper corners, nothing but water penetration. We can see the brown shingles underneath the green. We have one, two, three, four layers of shingles. And look at the wood. Holy crap. Every time you add a new layer of shingles right over the old one, the load gets heavier and heavier on the structure. Now imagine it doesn't breathe underneath. Eventually, the structure will rot. That roof's got to be pulled apart. This is plain stupid. I did better work when I was six. I have never seen wood stairs in my life leading to the basement. Having the metal underneath it, look at this. Talk about using metal to cover things up. See, I can do that, right? Because this is no longer a home inspection. This is a home's inspection. Now I start to open it to see what's wrong with it. No wonder it was so cold. The earth is really just crumbling at the bottom of this. We don't want wood touching ground unless it's at least pressure treated. This is pressure treated, this is not. There, right, it's covered up, right? Do I go get permits and make a proper door to the basement? Do I convince them to close it in? Good question. I can see the supply to the toilet. They just went through the baseboards. On the plumbing on here, we had no trap. Really slow draining. The roof is wrong. The plumbing's wrong. There's no ventilation. I see issues with structural. It's gonna be an awful lot of money to fix this. It's on four layers of shingles. On oh, the look at the wood underneath it. Okay. Okay, so what does that mean? Rob. Yes. New roof. Strip the roof, check yeah. out the sheathing. We do know there's a minor leak from the chimney coming in, so that needs to be addressed, and I want an update on what he's recommending for the roof. Okay. You know, we can see that the old insel brick, which is the siding, which is the asphalt shingles on the side of the house, they've gone over top of that. It's probably something that the homeowner should uh, question that was not brought up by the home inspector, by the yeah. way. Actually, there was many things not brought up by the home inspector. Oh, God. Yeah, this okay. is like one hell of an eyesore. Now, what's the smartest ruse? To pull all this off? Fill it in. Fill it in. What I don't know yeah. is where is the vent pipe for the bathroom here? We have a shower, we have a toilet, we have a sink, we have a washer and dryer. Probably wouldn't hurt to scope the drain at the bottom of the stairs to determine where it is. Personally, I don't think it's vented. It gets worse. <laughs> Limbo time. Yeah. All right. Just do a little, squ <laughs> little sumo <laughs> squat. That's what yeah. it is. It's like, it's like, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, all right, come on. <laughs> now, this door is just, like, ridiculous. There's daylight. That's daylight. Once this is closed off, yep. we're going to have to come up with a, a way to pick up the slope. Look at that. It's it looks like you had an idea. Hmm. <laughs> Somebody pulled out the foundation wall, which was a pickup to pick up this, which was cut. So there's the plumbing line that leads out to underneath the addition and where the vent goes, no one knows. Thank you. Thank you, man. Let me know. I will. Thank you. Okay. This is actually crumbling. This foundation is going. I, you should not be able to do that. Meeting Mike was fantastic. He was thorough, but he's also scared the crap out of me now. We have one, two, three, four layers of shingles. I would have wanted to have known that if I was buying this house. Where the vent goes, no one knows. Mike's giving me a big job. I have plumbing to deal with, electrical. I know I have a basement walkout to do at this point, which is pretty straightforward. My biggest issue is going to be the roof, and I think Steve's here now. I'm just going to go take a look. Stevie. Stevie you some good news, bud? Uh, not so much good news. No? We got multiple layers. There's three layers of shingles and a layer of the original cedar. Four layers. Four total. layers, codes two. Really, this is going to be the worst area for any type of wood rot. Right. Um, the full extent of it, I don't know. Worst case scenario, resheating 
you, this entire area. Right. There's some obvious uh, leaking around the chimney, but it, it's really more of a maintenance thing. And then there's the lower rear flat, which yeah. uh, which needs some work. So. And so on, and so on, and so yeah. on. Yeah. What we have here is a not very well primed metal at drip edge. Because they torched directly to the wood substrate, even though they primed it, they were probably very scarce with the amount of heat that they used on the material. So it never got a proper bonded. The problem is you get the cracking in the material, splitting of the seams. We're gonna just start from scratch, pull all this membrane off, and start right from the beginning. Looks like we're dealing with 28 inch on center. It's the way they used to build these, right? They, in their day, it was just a porch. We got a lot of rot. Yeah. You know, over oh, the years. It's just dry rot. I dry think, rot. isn't it? Yeah. Well, it's got to come out. So, Adam, yep. uh, look at what we're dealing with here. It's a bit of a mess. Put a rafter in between each one, okay? I want you to come with a board right across here. Instead of trying to figure out this angle on that pitch, yeah. bring one straight across. Give yourself a straight piece so you can tie right into it there, okay? All right, no yeah, and what am I going down to on that end? Oh, I see what they did. Yeah, but that's okay. I can cut mine flat. Absolutely, because that's there. structure under there, right? Yeah. Let me give you some more paint. Oh. There you go. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. we have here is our, our mechanically fastened base sheet protective board. Uh, we're installing our first ply of membrane. It's torch applied. You see uh, Cormac heating the material with a torch, creating an adhesion between the base and the protective board, which we've already installed. And then we finish that with a granulated cap sheet. It's unfortunate the inspector missed the first thing he, uh, you know, he walked under as he walked into this house, totally missed it. This roof needed to be redone immediately. So Adam has restructured this thing beautifully. He's actually put joists every 16 inch on center and he's blocked it, glued, nailed it, used tongue and groove plywood. This is the way to do a roof. Now you can just have Steve do a nice and water shield on this. I'm happy. I can work my way inside. How'd it look? It was actually a bit of a surprise. Uh, first thing I noticed was obviously there was a problem with the slope on the, on the kitchen drain. Yeah. There, was a, there was a dip here in the basement. My concern is uh, because I don't know how the pedestal sink is connected and the shower and how all those plumbing fixtures yeah. are arranged. You know, it's safe to say that this thing is not vented. Then the second thing I noticed was uh, the kitchen upstairs. I don't have a vent. The kitchen's not vented. The kitchen is not vented. You gotta come up with some kind of solution here. I do not want to pull cabinets if I don't have to. Another alternative is to install a wall vent. Okay, so I know you're gonna take this out right now. What, do we have a sag in it? Uh, I'm gonna make sure that I have adequate slope. Right. Um, I'll re-slope it just to make sure it's, uh, it's, it's better than code. Well, it's time the structure came down. This is the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life anyway. Uh, it slants back into the house right below a window. As I guarantee there's water leaking into this house. You can see the foundation actually crumbling down there. That's the whole reason why we're here to fix this. Ready to go? Right out. Well, I guess people in jail would wish they built foundations like that. Um, one thing I'm gonna have to give uh, the inspector credit for is actually catching this back here. This was an absolute mess. I mean, he did mention that there was gonna be heat loss out of here, that it was built improperly. This is actually crumbling. This foundation is going. I, you should not be able to do that. Let me open this up a little bit. I just wanna see how far this actually, it's, it's crumbling here. So how far does this go? Yeah, look at this. 
Doesn't look like much concrete at all in this wall. No, I think they thought it was a 1.8, but it's saturated right through. I can actually feel moisture on that coming through. Well, first thing we got to do is get some short posts up here to take the okay. weight. We're going to have to pour a new concrete footing here. Okay. We're going to have to bring it right to the corner and okay. return it to just past the stack there and then build right up with uh, concrete blocks just to get the load off of these floor joists. Yeah. This is dangerous. I agree. I mean, it, it can't take the pressure. Water has been running down these stairs for years. The concrete has been absorbing all that water and the foundation's crumbling. A new concrete block wall will have to be built along the existing foundation, turning the corner and filling in the old doorway to support this side of the house. And I'll stop hitting that wall. Yeah, please, <laughs> at least while I'm down here. We've had to go out in the corner to bypass this piece of crap and tie into the block wall that's good on this side. Okay, that's a lot of dough to fix this area. Oh Never mind God. anything else. We anticipated some costs, but not, nothing close to this. I don't have any vent stacks going through the roof in that vicinity. It's safe to say that this thing is not vented. First thing we got to do is get some short posts up here to take the okay. weight, because this is uh, not safe. So how far does this go? They're just coming in now and putting up the jack posts to support all the joists. Essentially, that's all we're doing is putting a temporary beam inside, which now the house is supported on until we put our final support in against here, which is will be our, uh, our new block wall. We've dismantled this retaining wall that was on the exterior of the staircase. We've removed the stairs out of the way. There was a lot of concrete along here that we also removed. Right now, I have it trenched from the inside of the house all the way to here. We're going to do our new footings 20 inches wide by one feet deep. Ideally, to fill this door in, we should have been able to just remove the door, do some masonry on the edges, and re-block in. But the foundation wall in this house is eroding pretty bad where you can see. Now, the repair that I have to do is I have to do an interior block wall for about 12 feet of this side of the wall. So I'm going to actually bring a wall that comes out about a foot further than this wall, and I'm going to tie into here. After the cinder blocks go in, they would be parged all the way from the footing up to the grade level. And then after that, we would apply some waterproofing membranes to keep the water out and keep the wall in good shape for centuries to come. What we have done is we installed uh, a wall vent, uh, which is allowed in the renovation uh, cases, um, such as this one. And uh, we are bringing it over to the, uh, uh, just to the bulkhead. The amount of uh, disruption is, is, is pretty much minimal. One of the basic rules in plumbing is every trap needs to have its own vent. Because there was no venting, and, uh, and the, this kitchen was recently renovated, to run an independent vent and reconnect it to the rest of the venting system in the house would require substantial demolition. Wall vent needs to be installed. It needs to be accessible for maintenance and inspection purposes, and this will solve this problem here. The wall vent is, uh, is pretty much a one-way valve. It allows air to get in, um, and it won't allow any gases to escape. We've dealt with the bathroom and the kitchen venting, tackled, and we're now dealing with the foundation in the back. Feeling pretty good? I think it's time to give Mike a call. So it's perfect weather to be working on a foundation, isn't it? Yeah, having a gaping hole in your house is always fun when it's pouring rain. OK, that's more than I thought. What's up? We got a deteriorating foundation. The problem was, where did it stop? So that's where we had to do the block. We had to keep going with the block until we found out that the foundation was OK. Even six feet in at this point, that wall was saturated. That's what we had to do. They're going to waterproof right around. Double check. So we're going to waterproof to the front. The side, that's right. To here. Right around, come right around the window. Well, yep. Any other surprises? Well, the roof was done. You know about the roof. Yeah, the roof is done in the front, front porch. Absolutely. We had to reframe it. How so bad was it? It was bad. It was bad. 24 inch on center, everything rotting out. I mean, I had Adam there half a day restructuring the roof. So the home inspector missed all the plumbing. Yeah, missed the plumbing. We still have to tackle plumbing in here. We're going to cut open the floor on the inside after this because the drain is actually connected to the inside. It's actually attached to the sanitary right here. Looks like everybody and their cousin worked on this house. 
Uh, Damon had already worked outside, and uh, we took the roof off the front porch, took the roof off, and uh, what'd you find? Obviously, your roof was a mess. It had layer upon layer of shingles. We actually started having to pull boards. It was old. It's, what, an 80-year-old house? Yep. So we pulled those. Much to my chagrin, we had to do framing, so we reframed it. Rotting. Wow. Yes, everything so was rotting, <laughs> dry rot, etc. So we reframed it, resheated it, new shingles. Back roof, it peeled apart in his hands. It wasn't even sticking anymore. Oh, and by the way, none of the plumbing was vented. So that means the kitchen was not vented. That means the bathroom, that means the laundry room. None of it was vented, so I'm sure everything went down the drain very slow. We've opened up the bulkhead, we brought our plumbing through. Put in the valve there that is an air valve that we, we, we will have an access panel on that painted to match the wall. And the point is that you can get to that air valve, and that's what we need. I've got an idea for it I think you'll like. Yeah, he's pretty good with ideas. Lately, <laughs> lately, lately he's, uh, he's kind of freaked me out a bit. I'll be like, hey, that was, that was, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> uh, we repaired the plumbing under the sink? Absolutely. Let's go down to the basement. I'll show you the basement, OK? Sure. OK. Oh, my god. There's a hole in your wall. Oh my God. So Martin has fixed all the plumbing on this side because it was wrong. We have a proper run now. What has happened in this whole corner, actually right to the end, is that it's deteriorated. Uh, the strength of it is no good. We're going to temporarily support it. We're going to build a new wall on the inside to structurally support this. Move any electrical that's in the end, insulate the proper ends. We're closing off the door. And all new footings have been poured for this, by the way. We've had to go out in the corner to bypass this piece of crap and tie into the block wall that's good on this side. We're gonna waterproof it from the corner here, totally around this side, right around to the front of the house. Okay, that's a lot of dough to fix this area, oh never mind God. anything else. We anticipated some cost, but not, nothing close to this. It's scary, but uh, you know we're, we're glad you guys are here to help. Good thing is it's not that bad. I don't have to take the house down. <laughs> yeah. That's a good sign, I'm not taking your house down. <laughs> I just can't believe that something so big and so expensive could be missed in a, in a home inspection. We didn't anticipate putting any money into our roof based on uh, what our home inspector said. And I was worried about the cost associated with replacing a roof. But now, seeing the extent of the problems in the basement, that's peanuts compared to what we have to deal with downstairs. It was all pretty much a shock. We've got some siding work left to do. We've got to flash the uh, chimney on the flat roof. Well, the Bowen brothers have nearly finished building us a concrete block support wall for this corner of the house. Now we'll dig all the way around the corner to waterproof it properly. We have new block, no waterproofing on it at all. So basically what these guys are doing is waterproofing what we've repaired. OK, that's more than I thought. What's up? We had to keep going with the block until we found out that the foundation was OK. I just can't believe that something so big could be not revealed to me. It was all pretty much a shock. The chimney, like any other protrusion in the roof, is gonna always going to be a weak point. This here, we we're just putting a brand new mortar. The old mortar was just, again, it was just old. It just broken down, deteriorated over time. All concrete absorbs water. Done properly, you should be able to shed it and move it out of the way before it has a chance to uh, actually permeate all the way down and do any damage. Steve's gonna be coming up to flash all this here to, to help block these water points here. Well, the pipe from the old floor drain in the basement used to flow outside before coming back into the house and connecting with the main drain. Obviously, I capped the outside drain. So now, to connect the floor drain to the main drain, I have to break up the floor. We can concrete this by the end of the day, and that is my goal. After we applied the aqua block membrane and the fiberglass mesh, we cover that with a three mil poly. The last part we do on that is the drainage board membrane. The drainage board membrane keeps a separation between the soil and the actual compound. So when all goes well, the water stays right in front of the drainage board membrane, but in the wintertime, 
when the snow is built up on the house and we get a flash thaw, the water's going to melt and it has a chance of getting in behind the drainage board membrane. At that point, the actual waterproofing membrane, which is right on the wall, tighter than paint, it has no chance to get in behind that membrane and it'll keep the basement dry. After that membrane's installed, it's just a question of bringing in some new soil and refilling the area where the old staircase was. Well, right behind this wall right now, we have plumbing going on. Kate has dug her way to freedom. She's trenched everything for the plumbers, and they're in the middle of disconnecting everything and putting in new plumbing. We did have a break in our stack, so it was a good call on Martin's part. He remembers scoping and seeing a little bit of damage there. So sure enough, when Kate dug it out, it just fell apart. He's changing everything to new. While I have this all exposed, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this part of the storm line, I'm going to connect it to the floor drain, which will then discharge it over to the sanitary line. I also have a cast iron stack, which uh, doesn't look too good. This is one of the weakest spots in, in, a, in, a, in a drain system underground because you're changing it from a cast iron uh, to clay material. It's only you know a compound that was applied, a uh, cement or cement type product. What we're going to do is we're going to take it uh, from this connection and we're going to remove it all. The above ground portion, we're going to replace it with ABS material. And then uh, below ground, we're going to install a white PVC, which is uh, the current uh, material that's approved by code. Obviously the plumbing is done, otherwise I wouldn't be putting concrete in. I'm feeling really good. We're almost there. One of the most important things we've actually done today was take care of the wine rack. And that was really one of our only solutions to the plumbing issue and the venting up in the kitchen. Without ripping down the walls in that kitchen, that was really the only option we had. So I had to come up with some kind of an idea, I came up with a wine rack, and it solves the plumbing coming through the back of the cabinet. I'm happy. We're gonna make the wine rack here. I have an oak veneered particle board. Just kind of match the, uh, the oak cabinets that they have in there as well. We'll stain it to match. This is a small job. It'll take an hour just to get it popped together. Nice little detail for the kitchen. Something they need. That'll look good. It did its job. It, uh, it hides the pipe well. The stain is a match. It looks like it's supposed to be here. We're fixing the floor. We patched it, it looks like crap, I wanna fix it. So we're just gonna put this down, it cleans up the surface down there, and it gives them something nice to walk on. What we're laying here is basically it's a durable pad. You use these for workout rooms, uh, you use them for rooms where you're, you're, there's a lot of traffic, you can't destroy this stuff. So it's gonna give you just a tough floor that you can abuse. They're gonna be bringing stuff down here, they're gonna be storing stuff down here. We have concrete patches after concrete patches. This is just gonna take out some of the unevenness and make it look like a nice little floor down here and they can abuse the hell out of it. Pulling down the old siding and uh, replacing it with some new siding and just uh, fix it up. Well, this is my favorite part of the job. We're tying off loose ends. We have smart screen going on right now. Just finishing it up, they had to do the lower roof here. Nice job, finish off the downspouts. I see they've trimmed off the piece here. Now this was just something I wanted to fix for them. It was, you can see the insole brick here. I believe it's where the old uh, electric meter was. Uh, we fixed it up. We just patched it so no water got into the house. That's done, nice. Now we're onto the siding in the back here. Just finishing off in the corner here. We just have to get this side to get the windows capped. At the very end, when they're done, I get some river rock in here, some new patio stones. It's gonna look beautiful. There's rules. 
We need to follow the rules. These are good rules. These are practices that uh, makes a safe home for you and your family. And uh, when you break those rules, the consequences are not good. Well, what don't I see? Vent. This is just like plain ugly, man, and plain stupid. Well, I guess people in jail would wish they built foundations like that. It did its job. It, uh, it hides the pipe well. It's stain as a match. Looks like it's supposed to be here. It's going to look beautiful. Mr. Bennett. Mike Holmes. How you doing, man? Good to see you. That yeah, looks good. Yeah, what do you think? Not bad. That is a very good idea. Yeah. Take use of the space, and what better than putting wine there? That's right. Fix the plumbing here. Plumbing's fixed. How about the foundation? The foundation's really good. It's done. Uh, they had it sided today. It's flashed. I noticed actually walking up that they capped the uh, siding there in between right. the old mast there. That's nice. It's a gaping hole. Why not? Like, let's solve any water issues we see at the at the time, right? They were here. They did it. They did a good job. Any issues? The only issue is it's hot, and we're ready to give this back. It Do they have an air conditioner? Good. It doesn't feel like it right now, does it? <laughs> I think the doors have been open and closed for a while, so the air conditioner's on. It'll take a while to kick back in. Have they seen it? We've covered it every night, whether they peaked or not. No other issues in the bathroom? Nope. I have the reports from plumbers, HVAC, electrical. It's all ready for the homeowners. We're ready to go. I'm a happy man. Me too. As usual. Thanks, Good buddy. job, man. Thanks, man. Let's get them. OK. <laughs> You're playing on a computer again every time I see you on the computer. <laughs> Looks like our house. Keith. You guys are the guests. Good to see you. Kaylin, how you doing, doll? Hey, Keith. How Good you doing? See you, David. You too. Hi, Kaylin. Hey. How are you? Good. Well, it's all done. Why don't we just walk in the door? We'll start in the kitchen, work our way around, and uh, probably end up in the front. Sounds good. Okay. Excited. Brand new kitchen. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> it's nice just work. Just kidding. <laughs> this is this stuff I love. Is things that we some things we don't have to touch, some things we do have to touch. Now, uh, we looked at the. Uh, this was Damon's idea. I looked at the wine bottle there, and the glass is hanging over. Yeah. And we did break <laughs> open and run the plumbing vent out through the vertical bulk here. Make a yes. rack for your wine bottles. Oh, that's fantastic, guys. Well, with making sure there's an access panel for the wall vent that's in there without breaking the rest of your house going through the roof. We're thrilled with, with the, uh, the little touch of the wine rack and to have something handmade to remember everyone by and remember this, this whole experience. There was no mortar left on the top of your chimney. There was gaping holes, and it was just allowing water to pour right in. So I had our roofers reflash the bottom of it because even the roofing job, they, what they did is they torched membrane right onto the chimney itself, and there was gaps there too. So he did a flashing at the bottom, and I had Adam actually bring the peak back to what it was before, which is put cement on, slope it away from everything, uh, fill the holes, fill all the lines, but basically by repointing the chimney, and it's good as new. Oh, wow, that's fantastic. So it's not just a, 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 a wine rack, you yeah, got a new yeah, chimney. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is great, you got a new chimney. I love this. <laughs> that's Let's great. look at the basement yeah, where sure. the real big problem is. Sure. Which is no longer a problem, by the way. Do you have air conditioning? <laughs> oh, my. This is a lot different than when we last saw it. <laughs> well, I, I love Damon. He likes to do little extra things. He told, yeah. me, he told me about what he put on the floor. And uh, it's just a rubberized floor. You snap it together. It's really a good yeah. idea. And it looks good, doesn't it? Oh, it makes it it's look so great. Much, yeah, so much better. Better. Your floor was so uneven down here. I mean, yeah. you've. I, I don't know if you had an old bathroom here at one point, but there was definitely something right here. And look at the new wall. Yeah, that's uh, that looks amazing. It looks better than the hole that we saw last time. <laughs> so that looks great. They dug it back to where about the stairs was and then made sure they waterproofed it right to the front. Corner. This is going to solve a lot of your problems, especially what the other guys did on the outside yeah. of the house. They really helped solve the water issues. But this will show just how much damage water can do. The new basement looks fantastic. Uh, I guess Kaylin will be expecting some more handiwork coming out of that basement <laughs> than there was. But uh, it looks fantastic. It's just cleaned up really nicely now. And uh, we love it. I mean, you lose a door, but so what? You gain so much with the structure and with uh, you know the peace of mind knowing that your house isn't going to collapse. This floor has actually been ripped open and really? the plumbing redone and cemented down, and you have a new drain there. And we have one coming out of the concrete, and your drain goes right into it instead of it crawling along the floor like most people right. do. Having it all fixed now, it looks really good. There's no door. There's no drain at the bottom of stairs that was incorrectly hooked up. It's phenomenal down here, guys. Picked up this the structure is... here off the wall? Yeah, I see that, yeah. Yep. 
Yeah. All new plumbing, and you gotta love these guys. Yeah. We tied in the cast iron pipe there, and he fixed it up. A new plumbing. Let's say yes, it's new, but proper plumbing. Fantastic. Uh, yeah. Oh, guys, this is uh, this is phenomenal. There was also a, a two foot split in your stack, and that's another reason we broke up this floor here as well to repair your stack. Changing the plumbing directly up to the sink here, because we did have problems within the sink itself. And these are things that I noticed. You know, you have a home inspector come in, he didn't look at it or he didn't know about it. There's rules. We need to follow the rules. These are good rules. These are practices that uh, makes a safe home for you and your family. And uh, when you break those rules, the consequences are not good. Absolutely. And then when it's not really, it wasn't brought to your attention by people that are supposed to bring it to your attention, then the consequences are even heavier because it's more money that you're going to spend that you didn't expect. Makes sense to me. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, I'm really hot. <laughs> <laughs> nice neighborhood. Nice neighbors. You got some Absolutely. nice people on the street. There was yeah, someone across the street who kept coming over, giving the, giving the guys drinks. Yeah. Oh, they're people great. coming over and saying hi. We've met so many people through this process. Just everyone's coming right? to see how it's going yeah. and see how everyone is. Yeah, yeah it's. Uh, a phenomenal neighborhood. On this roof here, the guys said uh, uh, they actually pulled the roof, didn't they? They did pull the roof. They had no choice. They pulled it and redid it for you. It was peeling off the corner. When Steve got here, he just said, I don't know what's wrong with this roof. Took the corner, peeled it off. So it wasn't an exterior finish. It was a uh, torch on, but they might have done it in the rain where it didn't adhere properly, a little bit of moisture under it. That's all it takes for a, uh, for a torch on. You get a little bit of moisture under it, it won't stick at all. So no matter how much heat they apply, it will not grab. And we so. kind of recommend to make sure you put down a fire-rated board and then torch the board, because that's what it's designed for, two purposes, right? It, it, it gives it a fire rating, so when they torch it, they're not going to burn your house down accidentally. And it also it grabs it to adhere it, so it's a, a smart move. So look at, I, I do see eaves, troughs, and downspouts. That's new. New eaves, troughs, and downspouts. I know throughout. they did it, but I yeah. see it. <laughs> you can see it. It sparkles. Yes. Look at your neighbors, it look does, at yours. Yeah. You can tell the difference. Come on back here. The guys did some river rock and a little bit of patio stone. You remember what was here, the monstrosity, the Frankenstein-ish roof <laughs> thing you had here. Looking through that window was sort of, it was almost embarrassing for us. To, and we almost had to explain it to everyone, well, you know, this is a cover. We'll do something about it maybe. But, you know, uh, let's move on kind of thing. And now it just, it looks great out there. It looks fantastic. River it's, rock's it's, a great idea, eh? Yeah, it sort of cleans it up. We were thinking of mulch, some soil, this, to me is just is a better finish. The new look at the side of the house is it's great. It opens it up and it makes the backyard seem like it's bigger. And you can see where they brought the foundation out here and that was really to tie into this section here because the corner was no good and that's the only reason it's out further. Taking this area out is what they had to because they had to tie into the wall here and bring it out and bringing it back. This was all formed and poured to tie back in to make it look like a nice square foundation. If you notice, the new flashing goes up underneath the new siding. How much siding did they do? They went up how far? From here down. And really, it's a great match. They did a great job on it. Well, you bring in the right people, the right job gets done. It is 100% waterproof. It is not going to leak. I like hearing that. <laughs> We've had enough problems with leaks in basements, so yeah. <laughs> I'm happy that this one's nice watertight. Let's go to the front roof. Let me show you. Now, this roof was different. This was the culprit of why we came here in the first place. And just how rotten was it? It was pretty rotten. We had to actually replace the most of it. We restructured it, resheeted it, and then reshingled it. Well, it looks really good. And I understand that you guys just had your happy anniversary. Yes, yes. we did. Yeah, just on Sunday. First year? Yeah, sure, first yeah. Uh, exciting, adventurous year, yeah. Well, happy anniversary. Thanks very much. Okay. Happy totally. Happy anniversary. Thanks very much. Thank this oh, is wow. just a great little way of saying <laughs> uh, we are done. Adam built the wine rack. That's amazing. <laughs> we really appreciate it. There we go. <laughs> happy anniversary. Thank you so much. <laughs> to fun. everyone. Cheers. Good job, Cheers. guys. Cheers. Cheers. Congratulations. So Good job. Good job, you guys. And happy anniversary. Thank you. Thank you. It is hot in here. It is hot everywhere in here. Uh, Every floor. Basement. It's supposed to be cool down here. Do you have air conditioning? We do, yeah. We're going to crank it right now. Yeah, nothing. <laughs> Who the hell turns off the air conditioning? The day we yeah, leave. Is that the sound, man? That's yeah. great. <laughs> <laughs> they told us. They told us to turn it off. They said, no, we don't care about those guys. Turn off you the think air we don't know what we're doing. You know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs>